What's up guys, it's your boy Rich here back at it again. And I thought we'd do a little something different today. I thought we'd go shopping. Why and where? For pre-owned Rolexes at Costco. Because I think a lot of us are aware and have read on various watch forums that Costco sells pre-owned Rolexes and other high-end products. Yet, we never really see their products. We only read about them. So I thought we'd go take a look at Costco's inventory and see if this is just an urban legend. Come on, I'll drive, let's go. On this day, I visited a couple of different Costco's and while this Costco didn't carry any Rolexes, they did carry these Breitlings, Bell & Ross, a women's Prada handbag and a Mont Blanc pen. And while I have no idea if the Prada handbag is a good deal, it probably is. That Mont Blanc pen is a good deal by at least half price because I actually own one of their pens. And I think those Breitlings are a good deal as well. That first Transocean we're seeing for about $5,500, i have seen elsewhere for about $6,800 or $7,000. And that Breitling for Bentley in the black DLC version for about $6,000, I've seen elsewhere for about $7,000 or $8,000. But I don't think their Bell & Ross BRO2 with the 18 karat gold bezel at $4,400 is necessarily a better value than anywhere else. It seems to be on par with what anyone else is asking. And now for an early myth buster. None of these watches or any high-end product or any items Costco carries are pre-owned or used. Despite our assumptions that they are, for a really long time we've been hearing about pre-owned Rolexes sold at Costco. That is false. Every product that they carry is brand new. And we'll hear more on that from Costco directly a little later on. That Costco visit wasn't my first visit of the day. It was actually inspired by my first visit where I saw the elusive Rolex at Costco. It was a stainless steel Submariner with the uh, ceramic bezel. But I didn't have any intentions of doing any watch hunting. It was just a day of grocery shopping. So I saw the watch when I went in and thought I would get a closer look at it later on after my grocery shopping is done. And when I returned, maybe 30, 40 minutes later, it was no longer there. Instead, I saw a sign like this. So was I dreaming? But it's my understanding that somebody put that on hold and it was no longer available in the display case. But since this was not my goal of the day, I really wasn't housebroken. No, housebroken. I am housebroken, I think. I meant heartbroken. Because of some filming restrictions inside the store and because I wasn't fully prepared, I missed out on asking some questions. So I arranged for a phone interview after my visit so I could ask the questions I missed out on and so we could learn more about how Costco sources their watches and other valuable information when purchasing one of their high-end watches. So here's my Q&A with Costco. Hello, this is How can I help you? I noticed some of the Costco's have Rolex and other high-end watches and they're priced so much lower than everywhere else. And the person I just spoke with said they are not pre-owned, they're new. So I was just asking, and I'm not complaining about that, but how, how are you priced so much less than, you know, a jewelry store? Well, for one, our borrowing power and two, it just depends. Not all of our watches were dealers. Oh, so they don't come directly from the manufacturer. That is correct. How, but these are new, they're not pre-owned. You're correct. How, what, <laughs> what would be another, how else would you get them then, if not from the manufacturer? Well, from jobbers. I'm we, sorry. Have, we have people out there looking for those available through other sources, not just directly from the manufacturer, that are still brand new. Oh, you mean from maybe another store? Don't know. I, I, don't, I don't do the buyer's job. Do they, they just find them for us? Right. Do, we get them. do they come with a warranty, though? Well, they come with a, a, a many. They come with a um, a membership satisfaction guarantee that if you're not happy with, you can return it. Some of them we can fix, and some of them we can't. Okay, so there's no manual. Some but of them were, were the some of them were the dealer for, and some of them, like say the Rolexes and things like that, that we get a hold of, we don't have the original cards on those. Okay, so they're, the warranties aren't from the manufacturer, but they're, you at Costco are the ones who No, they're fix. warranty through us. Depends on the watch. And then would, you, re that. would you repair the watches then at Costco? Depends on, well, well, we don't do it at Costco. We send it back to the manufacturer, depending oh. on which one it is. We are reps for some of them, and others we are not. So there isn't any worry about any of these being fakes in any way? I guess Costco's already done their due that diligence. 
All right. You wouldn't, yeah. I know you said that you send them back to the manufacturer, but how do you do that if there's not a warranty card? Well, we wouldn't on those. That you could return, if it's not working right, you can return for a full refund. The ones that we are representative for, then we can do that. If you want to keep the watch. If you don't and just want to return it, it's under membership satisfaction guarantee. Okay, so there's not a there's not a, a third-party warranty at all then. It's just satisfaction. Not that I know of, no. It's just, right. how, how long is the policy? 30 days or 15 days? Well, no, it's, it's a lot longer than that. It's, it's reasonable amount of use and it's up to the manager. Oh, now, okay. Obviously, if you've worn it, if you had it for a year or two and the battery is dead, I don't think we cover the battery. Right, but for a mechanical watch? Yeah. If it needs servicing? Even, well, even, a, yeah, if there's something wrong with it and you try the new battery, that's a different situation. Right, so how would we, for it. how would I know or anyone know which brands you are responsible where you can send them directly to the manufacturer for any servicing? Just when you buy it, we can double check it. If it has our Costco card in it, nine times out of ten, those are the ones that we are not representative of. Yeah. If they've got their regular paperwork and everything, uh, then yeah, like you know, Seiko, Citizen, um, Wenger, uh, Breitling. Gosh, we must, yeah, no, we don't. Not Breitling, uh, Breitling, uh, Bomb MSCA, uh, Tag, Rolex. Um, I think we're Raymond Veal. But I'm not positive on that one. We have a list of them upstairs or on our computers I know, see. for our managers and, and stuff. So, so the, we know which ones are which. So the super high end which ones. So the super high end ones, like you mentioned, Rolex or Breitling. Most likely or not. Yeah. yeah right. Okay. I see. Um, yes. I'm sorry. I had one more question. Um, sure. The Rolex that you have there. How did you get that Rolex? I have no idea. We got it from the buyer. They sent it to us. And do they last very long, or do they do, do they sell pretty quickly? In other well, words, should I, mean, I? I've seen I've seen Rolexes in a state jeweler that's older than I am, and I've seen some that weren't a week old. And they had issues. So. So I mean, if I the one that's there, should I pretty much make my decision early, quickly, rather than expecting but that then, to still be I don't there? Know if I've got a men's Rolex right now. Okay. Oh well, you did have one. I no, I don't. Oh, it's sold already. Well. Uh, well, I don't know. When did you see it? Uh, two days ago. Oh, over the weekend? We yeah. might have sold it already then. Because uh, I was there all the weekend. I was there on Friday, and I didn't have one on Friday. And I don't have one now. So, I know if I can double check, but I don't think so. So between Friday and... You talk about a men's so, Rolex, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. That no, Submariner I don't does, see one, but I can double check. That stainless Submariner, so it looks like... Between Friday and today. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, I know what they are, yeah. Yeah, so it was sold pretty quickly then. So it's, you kind of yeah. rolled the dice. Okay. Yeah, Thanks again. Thanks very much. You bet. Bye. Mm -hmm. My two biggest takeaways from the Q&A are one, learning that Rolex or any of the luxury brands Costco carries are not pre-owned. And secondly, their wonderful informal return policy. I mean, not even the Home Shopping Network's extended holiday return coverage can come close to Costco's everyday return policy. Even if we were to buy a new watch from an AD, the warranty is usually good for two years, and most new watches don't require any servicing within the first two years. So to me, the papers compared to the savings is moot. However, I do understand the value of papers. I mean, if we were to consider selling the watch down the road, it is easier to advertise a watch with spots and papers. But it is oftentimes not a deal breaker, especially if we can show a receipt from Costco, which makes it really explainable for the absence of papers. And like uh, Costco said, even if it's a year or two or how many years down the road, if it needs servicing then, I think it will still far outweigh the cost of buying a watch from anywhere else. And not to mention that Costco has already done the due diligence for us. There is also another more specific way on how Costco obtains their watches. But when we talk about this, it's unavoidable to talk about Omega versus Costco because Omega sued Costco for selling their watches without being an authorized retailer. And as big as Omega is in the watch world or even a Swatch Group who owns Omega, they were no match for Costco. I mean, this was almost a David versus Goliath type of thing, which is hard to describe when we're talking about Omega. But we're also talking about Costco. And this victory was more important to Costco 
than it was for Omega. So they were not going to get intimidated. So their response to Omega was basically, for every legal dollar you're going to throw at us, we're going to fire back 10 more at you to fight this. And initially, Omega won on the Ninth Court and all the way up to the Supreme Court. But because this victory was too important to Costco and for all the other retailers, they refused to wave the white flag. So they appealed this and they won in the federal court and even had the Supreme Court overrule themselves, paving the way for Costco to be able to continue to carry Omega and other brands. Here is a little backstory on Omega versus Costco. Basically, Omega made some Seamaster models intended to be sold in Europe for less than they were charging in the U.S. And they put a really small logo of a globe on their case back. Uh, Costco bought a bunch of the Seamasters, 117 to be specific, from an authorized Omega distributor. Not a retailer, but the actual distributor called EDM Limited. And part of the argument in favor of Costco was that Omega doesn't own the rights to a globe. Therefore, uh, Costco was not infringing on any copyright issues. So why wouldn't other watch brands sue Costco for carrying their watches? Well, because they just saw what happened to Omega. So here is, in part of the court's ruling in favor of Costco. Omega's right to control importation and distribution of its copyrighted Omega Globe expired after that authorized first sale. The watches did not constitute copyright infringement. Look, in my opinion, Omega's argument was weak. This was never about copyright issues. It was about decreasing the competition in the United States market nor was it about any financial loss. The Seamaster was being sold for around $2,000 elsewhere, while Costco was selling them for around $1,300. So if we do the math, 117 total watches with a $700 price difference does not add up to the tens of millions of dollars that Omega incurred in legal fees. In my opinion, this was about perception because they did not want their brand carried in a discount store. But this is not a winnable argument, nor did they want to offend their fan base because a lot of people who shop at Costco can afford expensive watches and drive expensive cars. There isn't anything wrong with trying to get the best deal possible on anything. That's the smart thing. And Omega messed with the bull and they got the horns. Usually in a lawsuit, the one being sued is not a good look for them while the one doing the suing is the victim. But I think in this case, it benefited Costco because it shed some light on their high-end watches. In case any of us were wondering if it was a franking issue, we learned it is not and that it is all business. And I think this kind of backfired on Omega by painting them into a bully. But it all benefited us, the consumer. This is a win-win situation for us because it gives us some pretty terrific options at Costco with that really great unlimited return policy. Man, all this talk about Costco has made me hungry. I'm thinking about getting one of their hot dogs and drinks for a buck fifty. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you the next time. So a lot of us are aware that we can pretty much get anything at Costco, from gasoline to our cars, to meats, to electronics, to... to luxury watch. So let's do our watch shopping at Walmart. No, at Costco. Let's do our watch shopping at Walmart. No, I just... at Co but that Mont Blanc is a really good deal at about half the price because I actually have one. Because I really do have one.